Good afternoon. We begin today with the U.S. Justice Department prosecuting companies based in China and Taiwan accused of stealing nearly $9 billion worth of trade secrets from Boise-based Micron, the computer memory chip company based in Idaho. The Justice Department announcing today the federal grand jury has in, returned an indictment alleging that a company owned by the Chinese government engaged in economic espionage against Micron. Three individuals, all former Micron employees, are also named in the indictment. Prosecutors say one of the defendants went to work for the Taiwan company, United Microelectronics, and orchestrated the theft of Micron trade secrets. That defendant had previously been the president of a company that was acquired by Micron in 2013. The indictment also alleges that the Taiwanese company partnered with the Chinese government owned company so China could steal Micron's computer memory technology and use it to compete against the United States. Attorney General Jeff Sessions called the intellectual property theft alleged in the indictment a quote threat, th threat to our national security. China, like any advanced nation, must decide whether it wants to be a trusted partner on the world stage or whether it wants to be known around the world as a dishonest regime running a corrupt economy founded on fraud, theft, and strong arm tactics. Our wish is to have a trusted partner. If convicted, the individual defendants could face up to 15 years in prison and $5 million in fines. The companies could face forfeiture and fines worth more than $20 billion. Meantime, the Commerce Department has added the indicted Chinese company to the list of entities now barred from buying goods and services from the U.S. Micron today says the three former Micron employees named in the indictment are former Micron Memory Taiwan Chair Stephen Chen and engineers J.T. Ho and Kenny Wang. Micron filing a civil suit in December of last year against the companies that are now facing criminal charges. In a written statement this afternoon, Micron Senior Vice President, General Counsel, and Corporate Secretary Joel Poppins said the company appreciates the Justice Department's decision to prosecute the criminal theft of Micron's intellectual property, which the company has invested billions of dollars to develop, and said the actions announced today reinforce that criminal misappropriation will be appropriately addressed. Micron employs more than 30,000 people worldwide in 17 countries. Of those, an estimated six to 7,000 jobs are based at the headquarters in Boise. But Micron may soon move some of those jobs out of town. We contacted the company about rumors of layoffs in Boise. Micron sent us this statement saying that the company remains committed to Idaho as the company's global headquarters, but certain functions that have taken place here are being consolidated to Micron's DRAM centers of excellence in Taiwan and Virginia. Micron did not say how many jobs will be affected. We'll have more on all of this coming up tonight on the News at 10.